Hey folks, today is June the 11th. It's currently 8 11 in the afternoon. I finally got my email letting me know that I can uh, go ahead and activate the FX simplifier. As you guys can see, I'm currently on the home page under corporate announcements here FX uh, simplifier activation. If I click on that, it takes me to this page. That's just an uh, introduction. They actually have um, just a little. <clears throat> excuse me a little short training session that they want you to go through you can see everything is in green so I've already gone through that I've already uh, completed everything here and this right here is the actual FX simplifier page that you get to once you click on this link here and then you'll just uh, simply click on start the FX simplifier application process now and that takes you to this page so once you get into the back office click on FX simplifier and then click on start application process or activation process and that's all uh, you need to do to get started alright so at this point right now I'm in the process of waiting because one of the things that they showed me or they said is that it's going to take about 60 minutes for me to be able to log into the uh, back office as you can see I tried a moment ago and it's still not uh, set yet so I'm going to have to be patient and hopefully I'll give it until about nine o'clock and then I'll try it again I'm gonna pause this video here and then once I get into the back office I'm gonna show you guys uh, the settings and also what I'm gonna be using as my settings they have a lot of different uh, risk risk setting parameters that we can choose from so it should be really interesting and I also saw that they're gonna be uh, letting us use a hosted account so they're basically going to set up our MT4 on their hosted account so that way we don't have to keep our computers on 24 7 and that's a a big plus for a lot of people um, personally I don't mind keeping my computer on but if they're gonna give it to us then I'll take it anyway let me go ahead and uh, pause this video and once I'm able to log into the FX simplifier back office I'll uh, come back to you guys alright guys I just tried logging in and they uh, let me into the back office in the training that they give you, they tell you uh, what you're going to need to do back here. So I'm definitely uh, going to go through and try to fill out most of this information right now. Let me uh, do that, and I'll come back to you guys once I have that set, and I'll go over some of the uh, risk parameters that they have. Give me one moment. All right, I haven't finished setting anything up. I just uh, came into this area here, Client EA Settings, and I'm going to... Uh, look over this here and try to make some changes alright by default only new positions will be copied additionally you can choose no don't want to do that copy exact trade comments alright let's see here lot money ratio alright so this means that for every thousand dollars I have in my account it's gonna trade point one lots so if I have five thousand in the account it's gonna trade zero point five for uh, each trade it takes and you can set it also for 500 if you want to or whatever. A risk percent. All right, this is risking 1% per trade. I'm going to set this to 3% per trade. Obviously, you can lower that or raise it up to, you know, 4% or uh, lower it down to uh, 1 or 2%. That's entirely up to you. Max trades. Let me see here. Enter max amount of trades allowed or enter zero to allow unlimited trades. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Margin limit. This allows you to control how much margin of your account can be used for trading. By default, it's set to 70%, and this means that client EA will not open new positions if account margin in use reaches above 70%. These trades will be delayed, and once margin in use is less than 70%, the trades can be opened. Okay, I think we're just going to leave that alone as well. Accept trading signals, entry, modify, exit. We're going to accept all of those. Going to leave that the way it is. Copy trades of prices within range of 10 pips. Stop loss, same as master. Take profit, same as the master account. All right, take profit if equity above. We're going to leave this. A lot of this stuff we're just going to leave the way it is. All right, copy trades only at a better price. Copy trades at the same or any better price. Copy trades at any price. 
Uh, copy trades of prices within 10 pips. All right, for right now, folks, we're just going to leave this the way it is. But if we need to uh, alter something in the future, we'll definitely come back in here and do that. Let's scroll down here. Take profit if equity is above. We'll leave that alone. Stop if equity is below. Trade pairs. All right, so it's not letting me click there, but oh, there it is. Here you can make a comma separated list of currency pairs that EA must trade. Leave empty to trade all pairs. All right, so we'll leave that the way it is. Let me just uh, go through this one more time to double check everything. 3% risk setting. That's checked. Don't want to enter current positions. As many trades as it wants. 70% margin limit. Take entry, let it modify, and also let it exit trades. What's reverse trades here? This feature will reverse all orders received for the master account and swap. Let's see what this says. This feature simply swaps the figures from the take profit and stop loss around. I'm not messing with any of that. Leaving that the way it is. All right, so everything looks clean here. Let's click Save EA Settings. Operation completed successfully. All right. Follow this signal provider, WG Experts. Right now, as you can see, wow, 488 followers currently. All right, let me pause it again, folks. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do one other thing. I just want to double check one moment. All right, folks, I just clicked on follow signal provider. Signal provider status offline. Of course, it's the weekend right now, so that's expected. All right. And then it has this little uh, information down here. So it looks like green is good. We're perfectly uh, set up here. All right, signal provider, you follow one note. Client EA settings set for individual signal providers override global client EA settings. It means that if you have settings turned off, for any signal provider, the client EA will use set it set in the global client EA settings tab. All right, so next thing I'm going to do here is connect your MT4 account. One moment, folks. All right, folks, this is uh, that connect your MT4 account. I'm going to go ahead and put this information in. I'm not going to uh, show that process. Obviously, it has some uh, sensitive data there. So once I finish with that, I'll come back to you guys and we'll see what happens. One thing I forgot to mention, if you're in the U.S., you're going to want to select Forex.com. If you're not in the U.S., you're going to want to select River East Financial. All right, so I already have my account set up with Forex.com. Also, I've checked this up here. Okay, so you activate the EA after you set your risk settings. I've already set my risk settings over under the signal providers link. So let's go ahead and first of all activate the EA. Now I'll tell you what, let me uh, finish all of this. Because I'm not sure if I click on save changes, if that's automatically going to activate it or if I have to do these two separately. You know what, let me just go ahead and press it. We'll see what happens, folks. All right, you can deactivate EA to make it stop immediately. You can activate it again anytime. Okay, so the EA is now activated. All right, so I'll go ahead and put this information in, and I'll come back in a second. All right, folks, I've just been playing around with the settings back here. I found the uh, support section here. So obviously, when you get back to this uh, section, if you have any issues, definitely just click on support here. And then uh, send it to them, or either you can, I guess, call them Monday through Friday in their uh, regular hours for support. But it's going to take a few days for them to get me activated. Like I said, they're uh, installing my MT4 so that they can uh, host it and everything like that. I do still retain um, ownership over my account. So if you, for example, open your account with Forex.com, you put money in it, they don't have any control as far as being able to withdraw your funds. I want to make that perfectly clear. They're just setting it up so that um, the EA can actually manage your account without your PC having to be on 24-7. They have no control over the funds that you deposit into the account. 
Okay, and this is, for example, my forex.com um, account right here. We're going to be starting out with this. Obviously, as things change on a daily basis, I'm going to uh, be able to see that here under the, where is it at? Account history, uh, history section here, but we're just going to take it day by day. I was going to do uh, the MyFX book account set up with it, but since they're going to be running it on their platform, or on their uh, servers, I'm not sure if that's going to work. So I will definitely use or, or definitely do the uh, Friday updates for you guys so that we can follow the progress and see how everything is working. Had one other thing I wanted to touch on. All right. Once you guys get set up, shoot me an email. You guys know how to contact me at empireambition.com. I'll get you guys into the Wealth Generators uh, Skype room. And if you're interested, I can also get you into the uh, Wealth Generators private um, page at uh, Facebook.com. So if you want to jump into those two rooms, just let me know. If you want to get more information, definitely click the link below. And if you want uh, my help with anything, just shoot me an email and I'll uh, be able to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, folks, have a great weekend and take care.